Oh, <laughs> guys, welcome to some lad's garage. We were left home alone with thing one and thing two. <laughs> we are outside. Uh, you guys seen our last video over here? We went to an auction. We bought a. I have no information on this. Other than it was possibly a Brent Thompson chassis. I even asked Brent Thompson and he said it's been so many years that he couldn't verify yes or no. So it's a mystery chassis. Other than knowing that it is metric and it's set up for a sportsman. That's all we know about it. But for what we paid for it, I figured it's worth that steering box. These A arms, they could use a good clean in. I don't know if they're even really any good, but I figure I could just strip the front end off and that's worth what I paid for the car. The other thing we got to think about, I mean, the frame is in good shape. Other than, I mean, it's been welded on and modified and all that. The front frame horn, a little hard to see probably in the camera, but it is actually bent right there the other side same thing so is it really worth screwing with or just cut it up and i don't know at this point uh what i am thinking is i do like these spring buckets think about chopping these off uh taking them completely off this this chassis and using them on intimidator and up here we got weight jacks on the front not that big a deal i could probably actually buy new ones whatever but we know that's not really my style but what i'm thinking is the lower control arms are look good shape the upper control arms are iffy you got me a dandelion yeah oh, thank you so let me know in the comments what you guys think down below should we even think about trying to save it or just scrap it um no you don't need to put water on it yeah. water's already done a number to it uh i talked to a guy that is a chassis builder specializes in metric car specifically and he said he looked at the car at one time too and kind of he he believes you can see the outside's rusted it's actually kind of pitted right there really bad but his belief is that it's possibly rusting from the inside out which is a concern to him so i don't know what do you guys think i think we ought to even attempt to save it make a playground out of it um Obviously, I'm going to get what I need off of before we do anything with it, but what do you guys think? Think we ought to do anything with it or let me know in the comments. So we are getting geared up to get Intimidator here, ready to go head out to the track. I mean, it really all we got to do is drop an engine in it and it should be good to go, but I've been like touching up on paint, you know, restoring the car with, you know, our favorite paint, you know, you know, restore oleum. <laughs> um, like I said, there's some things over on that, on the auction chassis that we got that I would like to convert over to this car, like the spring buckets. Um, I'm not really a fan of the way they are on this car, but things we've already gotten done. We got the car, or at least the roof painted up. I mean, it ain't, we ain't winning no car shows with it. We got our side panels in. I need to, that camera got overspray on there. Let's get rid of that. We got these on. Um, I made them, I actually made them about a year ago to put on and never put them on because I never raced the car, but we're getting close. We'll clean these up, 
put our some of our little stickers on here. Uh, really, we're body wise, we're we need vinyls. Uh, we'll probably have to make some new front fenders, but that's not a big deal. I guess what we can do, since we got thing one and thing two, I guess we can hang our chain on the rear bumper here. Um, if we had an open rear, you know, where it's easy to see what we got going on, don't have to worry about a chain, but since we got a cover on the rear end, we need to have a chain on there because that things get a little destructive. So I'm gonna try to get that done real quick. Simple, drill some holes through, big enough to these bolts to fit through. These bolts are actually just a smidge longer than what they need to be. Simply because we want the chain to have a little bit of free play. So that's what we're gonna to attempt to do while we're watching thing one and thing two. Okay, for starters, we drilled out some holes into the steel bumper. Then we got the old holes all out and made bigger holes, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Now I got you holes. Yeah. Now we're going to try to. Hey, you supposed to be playing with saws? No. <laughs> Kids. So, this is going to be the challenging part here. Got to get this thing bolted up. Yes, I'm actually bolting something. I ain't getting a welder out this time. All right, guys, we got our chain on. Hopefully we don't have to ever use it, but it's on there. We got one on the for the front too, but this one I picked out just for the back. Now they're disassembling a LS. A 5-3. <laughs> I don't know. One minute they're fighting, next minute they're getting along. Parenting 101. Let your kids play with power tools. Hey, I got one, Daniel. Hey, here we go. Drill out old rivet heads. Make them washers. How about that? Where was we going to put this guy at? Hold on, let me drill that out real quick, son. There we go, get that drilled out. Here, put that on there. Yeah. Let me help you. Hold on, don't squeeze it yet. No. Hold on, no. Now, squeeze it. Switch it again. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta get another spot ready. Okay. Let's drill that one out. Oh, we gotta get this one. Where are my pliers at? You gonna drill it? we go. Bye. All right, find me another black one. Got a black one? No. Hold on, hold on. It's Mallory's turn. You want to do it, Mallory? Yeah. Hold on. All right, come here. Hold on, don't pull it yet. Okay. Get this in there. Hold on. There we go. Don't fight, you two. Hey, Mallory, come here. 
Mallory, come on. Put your tools down. If you're gonna pull the button, you gotta put the tools down. Okay. I'm gonna pull the button. Now. All right, Daniel. What? You gonna push the button? Hey. Uh, you gonna push the button, Mallory? Yeah. No, Dee. Let Mallory do it. No. How about you both do it? No. Hey. Let Mallory do it. There you go. No, no, stop, stop. Daniel, okay. we're not drilling no more out, okay? Hey, oh, we just put that one in. Goofy? Well, a little bit of progress is better than no progress, I suppose. We got our back corner buttoned up again. It was all floppy, and now we kind of got it buttoned up a little better. The other side ain't so bad, but... I really don't know until we have an engine there ain't a lot I can do especially with Dad. thing one Dad. and thing two <laughs> I did about all I could do today that I could think of with this car with having to supervise these two so Hopefully, we'll see you guys out here at the track here soon. Um, like I said, we're just kind of waiting to see what the engine situation is. Uh, maybe in another week or two, we'll have it back and we'll be ready. To, I mean, as soon as we drop it in, it, it won't take me long, in theory. Some things are going to be a little different on it. Uh, so, Daniel says we need to run that one, right? Oil. 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 Oil goes in that hole. But, uh, so we've always ran a two piece rear main small block Chevy. So everything I have is for a two piece rear main seal. The engine that we're get, getting from the Counts Boy is a one piece rear main seal. So, I gotta change every, the clutch is different, the flywheel is different. Um, so I might change things up a little bit. That's fine, we ended up getting, this is actually a throw out bearing that I will need for that setup. What is that, Quartermaster, hydraulic? Either way, we're getting closer. I mean, we ran a car one time, didn't really get a chance to figure out where the bugs were. We did fix the fuel cell. That was the biggest bug that showed that night in the battery, which there's a chance the battery's junk again. So, uh, but we might be running an alternator this year too. So that'd be something different. Maybe put some headlights in or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're looking forward to getting out on the track. Really am. Getting the itch. Y'all stay safe out there. God bless you. We'll catch you later. I don't have a thing, one, a thing, two.